Good afternoon. Welcome to a little get-together on this Wednesday of Holy Week. Tomorrow we will remember Jesus' Last Supper. Friday is Death on the Cross. But especially, we will celebrate that Jesus is alive. Our Bishop, Noel Simar, sent us a beautiful reflection for Easter. On that theme, he is no longer in the tomb. He has risen. To start our little reflection, let us pray together. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you Jesus is alive. He is no longer in the tomb that contained him. This is the good news that Mary Magdalene will announce to the disciples after having met the Lord outside the tomb. For the past years, the pandemic has forced us to remain confined, to live isolated in our homes to face uncertainty and anxieties. This has been a year of restrictions, cancellations, frustrations, illness and death. Our churches remain closed much of the time, and we have suffered in silence from the lack of the Eucharist and of human and of human and community relationships. It has been a difficult year, not only for us believers, but for our country and for the whole world, especially for those who have lost loved ones, jobs, businesses, homes. It is as if we have been living in a tomb, deprived of light and human contact. Even if the pandemic is not over, 
We can see and feel a glimpse of hope with the vaccine. The easing of certain measures, a greater possibility of welcome in our places of worship, and of course, the return of spring. If Christ has risen and is no longer in the tomb, we too must come out of the tomb and see the signs of Christ's love, life, and presence in the difficult context that is ours. The Lord has been present and continue to be alive in those who have provided health care or essential services with compassion and a great generosity. In all those who have created happiness through their act of mutual aid, sharing and console, console, consolation. He is alive in all those leaders who work to build our common home by basing it on solidarity, universal brotherhood, justice, equality between men and women, and love. And by fighting against indifference, racism, domestic violence, injustice, and misery. He is alive in all those who find the strength to stand up again, or who go to the frontiers of distress, homelessness, and misery to bring support and hope. Christ is risen and draws us on the paths of life. Despite the shadows and the economic and social difficulties caused by the pandemic, May the light of Easter shine on our faces and drive us out of fear. May the life of the Risen One be a source of renewal for our civil and Christian communities. In this year, dedicated to St. Joseph and also to family, joy of love, may St. Joseph watch over our church and our country. May he also work together to put the family at the heart of society and of the church so that it may remain fundamentally pillar of love, union, forgiveness, and life. To all of you, may Easter be radiant with the joy, peace, and life of the Risen One and filled with his blessings. Noel Simard, Bishop of Valleyfield. Let us now pray together. The intentions of this day. Mm -hmm. Today we pray very especially for all the victims of domestic violence and all the suffering for women throughout the world. The Holy Father has asked that today may a special day of, res of reflection and also of prayer and of asking the question, how could we put an end to all this useless suffering? The Savior of mankind, by dying, destroyed death, and by rising again, restored life. Let us humbly ask him, Sanctify your people, redeemed by your blood. Sanctify, Sanctify your, your people, people redeemed by your blood. blood. Redeemer of the world, give us a greater share of your passion through a deeper spirit of repentance, so that we may share the glory of your resurrection. Sanctify mm -hmm. your people, people. redeemed mm -hmm. by mm -hmm. your blood. May your mother comfort of the afflicted protect us. May we console others as you console us. Sanctify your people, redeemed by your blood. In their trials, enable your faithful people to share in your passion, and so reveal in their lives your saving power. Sanctify your people, redeemed by your blood. Lord, you who are here for so many people, 
please watch over all those women in the world, whether they're whether they're involved in domestic violence or have been injured or raped or left aside. Make sure that your mother Mary watches over these women and gives them the strength to be, to go on in life. Sanctify your people, redeemed by your blood. You humbled yourself by being obedient, even to accepting death, death on a cross. Give all who serve you the gifts of obedience and patient endurance. Sanctify your people, redeemed by your blood. Transform the bodies of the dead to be like your own in glory, and bring us at last into their fellowship. Sanctify your people, redeemed by your blood. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us now into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. As I journey with you this time of Lent, bless me to come closer to you. Open my heart to realize your abundant love for me as I strive to be a better version of myself. Help me to develop the generosity of heart and mind to spend more time with you in prayer, to courageously let go of the things that I am overly attached to, to be more charitable with my time and resources. Grant me courage when I am afraid, strength when I am weak, trust in your steadfast love when I fail. Bless that this Lent may be a time of inner transformation for me, that I may humbly become a living example of your compassionate love in our hurting world. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. I think that we're going to have, we hope to be able to have nice celebrations tomorrow on Friday and on Saturday and Sunday. Yep. We're uh, allowed a maximum for our church, about 75 people. In the church and maybe tw and, tw and definitely 25 in the hall so we we thank you for being with us we are very pleased to be here on this holy week this holiest of all weeks and we hope that you have a great holy week and that you'll join us whether uh in coming to church if, if you're still nervous about that a lot of our services will be on uh, the YouTube, so please take care of yourselves. We miss you, and come back soon. I wish you all a very happy Easter. Happy Easter. <laughs>